Hi guys, this is Katja with Creative Image Studio. Today I'm sharing my Casercraft Exchange entry. And as you may remember from my first Casercraft Exchange video, Casercraft Exchange is a very fun project to participate in because you are sending snail mail to someone around the world that you don't know and Casercraft just uh, will provide you with uh, an address. So, as I said, this is the second time that they are doing this and I am, of course, entering uh, again. And this time this is going to a lady in Russia. So let me show you what I did. We are all supposed to use as many Casercraft products as possible uh, in this project. So what I used is Casercraft's Lush collection. This is a 2010 collection, so maybe hard to come by. But uh, I had it in my stash and uh, well, it's a lovely, lovely paper. As you can see here, you may even recognize it from one of my previous projects. This cute little micro album and uh, well, just love it. Love the paper here. So this is the paper collection that I chose for this project. Now what I did is I created a, a mini file folder or maybe a collection folio or, well, I don't know the exact English term. And, uh, well, I decorated the front, of course. This is a Brad by uh, Basic Gray. I think it's uh, well, from one of their Christmas collections. And these are some flowers that I had in my stash. Some are from uh, Petaloo and some uh, are brandless. Uh, looks a couple of buttons here and a nice little pum here. Cute little shoe. And then it says here, best wishes. And this is from another Casercraft collection, uh, of which I will put the name below. And, uh, well, let's look at the back for now. Now what you see here, well, this is one of the sheets of the collection. And then here there is a cute border that perfectly fits this collection. And I uh, can really say perfectly because I used the rub-ons. See the Lush collection here. So whatever you may use, this will fit perfectly uh, with your papers. So uh, this border here, well, you, you can see the rest of it. I used it here. And I have to say, I think it's one of the first times that I actually used rub-ons and I absolutely fell in love with it because you can make every paper fit perfectly with the rest. So uh, I think I'm definitely going to use more of those. And then here you can see a tag and I don't know from which collection this is. Just had it in my stash and it's lovely. So I decided to use it uh, also because it reminded me of the Dutch lion, uh, you know, from the Dutch heraldry and uh, well, I really uh, love that. And here is hello. This is a wood piece. So let's open it up. And here you can see what I mean with a mini file folder or a collection folio because look isn't it great I really love this idea even if I say so myself but sometimes you fall in love with your own designs right anyway so here I put an ATC card and I'm not sure which collection this is from may even not be a case craft collection but I did think the the colors here fit perfectly to this collection and here you can see one of the rub-ons that I just uh, told you about and this really makes it uh, integrate very very well with the rest of this piece I think so as I said rub-ons love them now here I stamped hi friend and handmade for you so two different stamps and even two different colors of ink and then some stickling uh, to give it a nice finish and uh, well another ATC card also not particularly from this collection but again perfect colors here and uh, even this black and white because this black and white design paper here actually is from the Lush collection so it really does fit very nicely well, and here's my business card and uh, this is one of the cute little cut aparts from the collection and I added a little bling to that. Now here, some extras that I uh, put into the a little file folder here. Again, a wood piece every day and some uh, ATC vellum pieces. You can uh, use them as is or maybe even use them as a sort of a stencil. So you just ink them up to uh, create some patterns onto your paper. 
And then uh, here are two 4x6 inch ATC cards. These are Kazercraft ATCs from the base coat collection and I chose two that again coordinated very well color wise with the colors of uh, the Lush collection. So these I would simply put uh, here into the file. And then uh, here I stamped create the things you wish existed. Very, very lovely stamp, I think. And here again a rub on. And now you can see the effect of a rub on as opposed to, say, a stamp or a stencil. For a rub on, you can put on top of a stamp. So the color will still be the color. So yellow will stay yellow and not darken or you know lose its color just by mixing it with something else as you would maybe have with a stamp and a rub on just you know you rub it on so it's on top of anything uh, you may choose so yeah cute 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 little mini file folder close it up again So I hope you enjoyed this design and I really hope you feel inspired to participate in the Kazercraft Exchange snail mail project as well, because wouldn't it be fun to receive this or anything that uh, someone might send you? It's a really great surprise. So I will be sending this one to Russia and uh, well, I'm very, very curious as to uh, whom I will uh, receive something from and what they will create for me. So it's really fun anticipating all of that. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see uh, new videos every single week. And uh, click like if you like this video. So help support this channel that way and make it easier for people to, uh, to find my projects. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.